<laughs> okay, so here's the problem. My DeWalt job site saw does not maintain vertical depth of cut. Normally, I mean, when you're doing regular work, you got the blade sitting high enough so it cuts all the way through whatever it is you're cutting. However, if you're trying to do, say, a rabbit or a dado, which this saw is not really designed for, but I do it sometimes, then this uh, falling depth of cut turns out to be a problem. I first noticed this problem on my DeWalt DWE7485 8 and a quarter inch job site saw when I plowed some T-bar dados for my cross-cut sled. The first channel was just the right depth, but the second was a hair shallow. How could this be? Then I realized that when running, the weight and the vibration of the motor were very gradually pulling the saw down. And of course, as the saw goes down, the depth of cut reduces. Normally, this is not a problem. For regular cuts, you set the blade high enough to clear the material. And if the blade goes down by a few thousandths, it's not an issue. But if you are doing dados or rabbits, it can be. So the question was, how do I stop the saw from sinking? I could not very well put a clamp on the vertical adjustment wheel because of the protruding knob. Best thing I found to clamp to was the shaft of the vertical control. On the inside, I discovered about three inches of unprotected shaft just begging to be clamped. So I fired up the CAD software and designed a clamp printed it out on the 3D printer, put the clamp in place on the saw, and bored a couple holes in the cast aluminum frame. I tapped the holes with self-tapping machine screws. screwed the clamp in place with a couple drops of thread locker and voila! The whole thing worked on the first try, which is kind of unusual for a project like this. But I lucked out! Anyway, that's how I solved the sinking saw problem. Now, when I want to dado or rabbit, I can lock the blade and hold my depth of cut. Here's a QR code link to the STL files. The zip file contains STLs for both clamp pieces and the knob, and a brief readme file with directions. Will this clamp fit on other DeWalt saw models besides DWE7485? I don't know. Anyway, it's on Google Drive for free download. Thanks for watching.